people who are applying to be your next superintendent. Four New Corners Mike Mason finding out the Lee County School Board is considering hiring a private investigator to screen candidates as a way to prevent future problems. These days you can get a lot of information about someone simply by Googling them. But there are some things that won't show up online and that's why board members are considering hiring a private eye. It's an unfortunate situation we are where we are today. Board member Jeannie Dozier says there's a dark cloud hanging over the district. A storm of controversy began brewing when Superintendent Joseph Burke suspended an investigation into Deidre Hicks, who was accused of being drunk on the job in 2011. Burke and Hicks worked together in Orange County, and he hired her as one of his top directors. If the superintendent had acted appropriately, if the su superintendent had followed protocol and policies, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And right now, the board is preparing to search for a new superintendent after Burke suddenly announced this week he'll be retiring in June. This district is in shambles. Jane Cuckle says she warned fellow board members about problems Burke allegedly had when he worked in Monroe County, but they hired him anyway. And when Burke hired Hicks, he said she had a good track record. Dr. Hicks has had good performance in her previous uh in her previous work. Information has since surfaced about problems Hicks had while working at Florida Atlantic University. The Department of Education asked FAU to terminate Hicks from a grant program for her failure to perform. Are you going to want uh, to know about that person? Will Zariski is a licensed private investigator based in Cape Coral. He says if the board had hired a firm like his to research district officials, they could have found out this type of information beforehand. There's a lot of uh, search engines and things in, on the internet, but you're not going to get the results uh, that you would with a licensed agency that has access to the databases that can get that kind of information. Dozier says she'll support a motion to hire a private investigator to research superintendent candidates. I asked board chair Mary Fisher if that's something she'd also consider. Well, it couldn't hurt, though, I'm sure. Oh, no, absolutely. The more information you can gather and the more you know, the better off you are. Uncovering information now could end up saving the district from problems in the future. Down the road, it's a lot of headache and troubles and, you know, finances down the road. Absolutely. A background search could cost as little as a few hundred dollars or as much as a few thousand dollars if people need to be interviewed. Next week, board members will discuss how they plan to move forward with their search for a new superintendent. In the studio, Mike Mason, Fox 4 in your corner.